can tell you the DECA sports games aren't worth your time until my face turns blue. Evidently, those arguments will fall on deaf ears, because millions of people have bought them on the Wii, despite the overwhelmingly negative response they've gotten from critics. But hey, what, what would they know? This game has sports in the title. You can't argue with that kind of logic, or with sales figures for that matter. And so, making its return on the Nintendo 3DS, it's DECA Sports. Only, in extreme form. This is DECA Sports Extreme. Aptly named because this is an extreme waste of time. Released earlier this month for the 3DS, DECA Sports Extreme is the fifth game in Hudson Soft's DECA Sports series. You'd think after doing something four times, you might get better at it. Such is not the case with DECA Sports. In fact, if anything, the games are actually getting worse, and this 3D iteration continues that trend. DECA Sports Extreme is a collection of ten sports games. It's also a thing that Hopes you'll assume it's 10 sports games are like the ones in Wii Sports. Lengthy mini-games with charm, depth, and awesome controls. None of those things apply to DECA Sports. These mini-games actually have more in common with Mario Party than Wii Sports. They're short, they're shallow, and don't play all that well. You see, Mario Party gets away with that because there are freaking millions of them in each game, and because the minigames are built into a larger framework. DECA Sports is what you would get if you took away Mario Party's board game structure and cut the minigames down exponentially. In this case, down to 10. Now to be fair, as with any compilation, some games are better than others. Tennis is actually kind of decent, and there's an interesting blowgun game of all things, and even bowling can kind of be fun, but the remainder are about as generic as it gets, and hockey in particular is borderline unplayable thanks to some really clunky touch controls and a bad camera. But then again, all ten of these games, even those decent ones, still feel shallow. <laughs> The only depth offered in DECA Sports Extreme is its thin customization, as you can make your very own team of players to plow through the minigames with. My team is based on a few classy broads I know, all of whom can sing like you wouldn't believe. You can also upgrade your player's abilities and level up by performing well in the minigames, which is a nice touch, but the problem is you won't want to play those games long enough to actually reap the benefits of two extra technique points. Whatever those do. There is multiplayer, and you only need one cartridge to play. Single card multiplayer is always a nice feature, but of course there's no online multiplayer. And then again, when the games are this dull, it's, it's not like you'd find a lot of people to play with anyway. I can usually peg some kind of audience as likely to enjoy a game, but this one... Uh, I honestly can't think of a single subset of society that would find this stuff enjoyable. It's family fun at its most dull, most generic, and least fun. It's DECA Sports Extreme. 